In this video, I'll be doing an unboxing setup and review of the new Seed 12 by CryptoSteel, a metal seed storage backup solution that can allow you to back up your recovery phrase in a way that is resistant to things like water damage, fire, and so on. CryptoSteel have been in the space for years, originally entering with their open source CryptoSteel cassette that was crowdsourced and released on GitHub all the way back in you know, 2015 and 2016. I actually did a review of the CryptoSteel capsule you know, a couple of years back and uh, the new C12 is their latest offering that they kindly sent out to me for review. So let's get into it. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe and that way you can stay in the loop for content I make to help you find your way in the crazy and often hostile environment that is cryptocurrency. All right, so this is everything that was sent to me. You can see we have the backup core and the security kit and you can see them on the CryptoSteel website here. So I'll just start with opening this one up because I'm pretty sure it's just gonna include one of these in there as well. So I'll put that to the side and let's open this up. Okay, so we'll just pause the unboxing there for a second. I'll just run through what each of these are because you can actually buy uh, each of these items separately if you want. So basically here we've got the Seed 12 core, which is exactly the same as this one over here that they sent me. Uh, we've got the instruction manual, which is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we have the security seal set here, and I'll open that up in a minute. And here we have the new Seed 12 capsule. So it's actually much smaller than the original uh, crypto steel capsule. And this one you'll notice has holes all along the top and the bottom that allow it to be used uh, with this uh, security seal set here. And basically this just unscrews. And then once you've done your C12, it goes inside there and is protected uh, by this case as well. And uh, again, these cores are plenty strong on their own, uh, but this really just takes that to a whole nother level and also just adds privacy and the ability to add a tamper evidence seal. So let's keep going. All right, so basically this is everything that came with the security kit. We have the core kit that's all unpacked here. We have the security seal kit that's unpacked here. And the security kit also came with the instruction manual and the capsule for the C12. So let's show you how it all works. And look, while I think this is pretty self-explanatory, they do have some good warnings here saying, you know, don't do this in front of a security camera or whatever. We have printed instructions and they also have video tutorials on their YouTube channel as well as a QR code there. So let's just follow the instructions. So step one, we'll just lay out the tiles and set out our recovery phrase, getting ready to put it on the core. So that we're gonna use this and this. So firstly, these are all of our letter tiles. We'll just peel that open. Just tip them out all over the bench. And this was also the separators and the clasps, so we'll need them too. I'll just put them all there for the moment. All right, so the next thing we need is our 12 word recovery seed. Normally you would already have this written down on paper somewhere. I'll just generate one using this uh, Spectre Shield Lite that I'm working on, any wallet will do, but I just happen to have this one on hand. Okay, so that is the 12 word seed I'll be using for this demo. So basically we're gonna find the first four letters of each of those BIP39 words and get them ready to assemble. And before you freak out about not backing up the entire word, one of the unique features of the BIP39 English word list and some of the other uh, languages that are supporting BIP39 is that the words are uniquely identifiable based on the first four letters. So that's all we need to store. And there's really no quick way to do this other than to spread these out. So I'll just move that off to the side a bit more and spread these right out and let's see how we go. And actually, this is a good spot to point this out. So just like with the previous crypto steel capsule, you'll notice that each of the plates has the uppercase letter on one side and the corresponding lowercase letter on the other. So that's helpful to know for finding the letters. And the other thing to know is that BIP39 recovery phrases are not case sensitive, so it doesn't matter if you choose the upper or lower case uh, side for your tiles. Okay, so I'll put that to the side for a minute. And all right, so that is step one. So step two, insert a cotter pin into one of the core slots and press firmly in both directions to bend its pins and lock it in place. So basically we're gonna grab one of these. So what we're gonna do is thread that through on like that. And then we're gonna basically squish it so that these are flat against there, which will hold it in place. And I can actually just do that by pressing it up against the back. There we go. So that can now still move freely there, but you know, it's not coming off. Okay, so step three, slide the password tiles in order, the order matters, onto the core, dividing the words with separators. Now I've already put the separators out here, so it's simply a case of putting these on 
onto here. Okay, so they are all now on the core. And so step four is once the complete password is assembled, then we place one of these back on the end. They're called a cotter, the clasp. So basically we put it on there. And just like the last one, we squash it up against the end to fold one part down. And then we can also fold it up against the other. And there we go, the clasp is now on there and these tiles will now not come off. Now, step five being here makes me extremely happy because I do a lot of recoveries for people who mess up their backups when they make copies. So basically what we're gonna do is essentially verify that this metal backup we have here matches what it should. And how exactly you do this step will vary a little bit depending on your hardware or software wallet. Most hardware wallets allow you to do a recovery check where you enter all of the words in. It will tell you that they match what's on the device. Some hardware wallets will allow you to see a copy of the recovery recovery words again, or you can simply reset and wipe your wallet and then do the restore process to restore this seed back onto the hardware device. So again, just make sure that you still have other backups that you know work uh, before you go wiping your wallet, uh, or do all of this ideally before you load up your wallet with funds. The important warning here is do not remove the locks at the end. You simply want to slide through, you know, one tile at a time to review the backup just using, you know, a pen or a screwdriver or something like that. All right, there we go. So I've verified that this is exactly what I was shown before. And basically then, if you just had the uh, Seed 12 core product, you are done. But because I've also got the capsule and security seals, we are gonna keep going. So basically step six is pretty straightforward. We pretty much just get the capsule, open it up, and we put that in there. And then this gets screwed up. So that is step six. So now for step seven, we are gonna add the tamper evident seals. So basically we get one of these tamper evident wires and we thread it through the holes at the bottom. Get it to be about half way. Oh yeah, it's close enough, so those are about there we go, so they're about the same length, so we'll feed it through. Like that. We'll feed the other one through. And if I just poke the end in and then slide the whole thing through, that's actually the easiest way to get it through. And then once the end's through, I can just grab it and pull it. Because it is a bit of a there's a bit of a snug fit, so there we go. So we'll pull it tight, we'll pull it as tight as we can on the bottom. And now for this bit, what we'll do is we'll put it through and leave like just a little bloop worth of slack on either side and see how that goes. So let's just press that in Again, there we go, it's clicked. And it's still got a bit of play in it, but the main thing is that there's still nowhere near enough slack to actually undo it. And that's the main concern here. And so there we go, so this is our seed 12 inside of the capsule with the security seal clamped on top. So basically we would just note down this unique number here and securely store our seed backup. The only other thing I'll quickly mention with this is that these tamper evident wires are basically a fine wire wrapped around a plastic core and depending on how you try and shove it through these holes, it's actually possible that you might end up separating the metal from the plastic and have like a really rough end. So if you're trying to get it through here and you find that the seal is just sort of bunching up and not going through, your best bet probably is just to snip a little bit off the end and then try again so you have a nice clean uh, end on the wire that you're trying to put through. And if you do need to access your backup, basically it's simply a case of just cutting it off, unthreading it, and opening it up. There we go. So there you go. That is the Seed 12 from CryptoSteel, both the base, you know, just Seed 12 core, as well as some of the extra modules like the capsule and the security seals. The Seed 12 builds on the strength of the previous CryptoSteel capsule in terms of something that is, you know, very robust and will have no problem resisting things like fire, 
water or physical damage and it also improves on the previous crypto seal capsule in terms of allowing us to easily make the device tamper evident something you had to sort of do using things like nail polish and stuff on the previous crypto steel capsule. And the great thing here is the Seed 12, especially just the core module, really comes in at a price point that makes it very competitive. And that's even before you consider the fact that products like the Seed 12 can be easily reused. In terms of some other general thoughts, it's also worth saying that a big part of what allows the Seed 12 to hit this price point is just how laser focused it is on making a device for 12 word seed phrases. If you want number tiles or symbol tiles to be able to just use this for different types of passwords, uh, you will definitely need to buy those as separate add-on modules. Uh, but again, if all you are after is just a 12 word seed backup, then the backup core has everything you need in one package. And if you're someone who has a 24 word BIP39 seed or even a 20 word SLIP39 seed that Trezor are pushing as a new standard, your best bet really would be to probably stick with the original crypto steel capsule or even just to buy two of the uh, seed 12 core modules and sort of identify you know which is the first half of the seed and which is the second so I added it onto my seed storage comparison website and you can see a breakdown of where the scores come from here if you think that the seed 12 would help boost security of your setup and help me out in the process i've got an affiliate link in the description otherwise if you have any questions about the device or any experiences using it or any other seed storage methods you know just leave a reply in the comments i do my best to answer all of them other than that stay safe Thanks for watching, I hope that was helpful. Hit like if you think that other people would find this video useful and hit subscribe if you'd like to be kept in the loop about future content I make that helps people stay safe in the crypto space and to recover if they get into trouble. If you have any questions about this video or a topic that you'd like me to cover, just leave a reply.